there has to be an understanding that you might be the person rushing out the door at five o'clock. It's a huge pressure being a working mum because you've got to be the best mother you can be. And it's, it's, it's not necessarily a stress for me, but I sometimes feel like I'm letting my children down or, give, or doing an injustice for them because I can't always be there at the school and plays. Do you, and do you think that you're, on a broader sense, you're fulfilling a kind of a social function by having children and contributing in that sense to society? Well, I chose to have children. I obviously wanted to have children. So I'm not saying, you know, I should get special perks because I have children. But I think employers are progressive if they give you flexibility. But it's a two-way streak because whilst I might leave at five o'clock, no one sees that once my children are in bed, I'm logging on my emails and checking again that on the night time. the case for people who don't have kids, though. I mean, it, people need to leave on time, for example, if they've got animals to care for, if they've got sick relatives they need mm. to look after. I think the problem here is that the assumption is that kids come above all else, and I don't think that's the case. I don't think we should get into a situation where whoever is in charge of the rota is deciding whose reason for being for leaving at five or for having the weekend off is more important than anybody else. Do you think else there's is. a moral high ground that mums sometimes? Take? I think there is. It's, it comes across that way as kind of well, it's a, it's a get out of jail free card. You know, I have children, therefore I'm allowed to go, and it's kind of then you end up as a child free person, you end up kind of arguing as to why you should be allowed. Is your that time not off. more a complaint with your employer though? Well, being it, 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 rather than it's not necessarily the mother's fault. But that's a problem with so many employers. I've seen it in so many workplaces. I've heard it a million times from other women with no kids. Is we're always expected to do Christmas because it's assumed that we don't have families that we want to spend time mm. with, which makes no sense. We're expected to do the weekends, the early shifts, the late shifts. It's like people who've had kids forget what it was like before they had them and think that we have these beautiful, dreamy, stress-free <laughs> you know, lives. Because we can't believe we had so much time <laughs> before we had kids. We think, what did we ever do with it? I think perhaps one of the things that the parents find, it's not just mums, it's dads as well, isn't yeah. it, is that actually you're suddenly not in charge of your own schedule in the way yeah. you were before mm. kids. So half-terms, for instance, I understand Christmas and Easter and those sort of things, but half-terms, you probably wouldn't necessarily choose to be off at half-term. Why would you? It's so it's expensive yeah. to go away so but, but unfortunately parents don't have those choices no of course but they do have the choice not to have kids and if i think if you choose to have children you can't really make everybody so else you responsible expect for your yeah, decision but, but on the flip side of that are you saying that people with children shouldn't work oh because... absolutely not absolutely not i just think that if you're an adult and you make the choice to have a child then you have to make the choice to make that work and i don't think you can put but it I... on your employers and i don't mm. think you can put it on your but colleagues. i do make and it work on picking... my contracted hours are nine to five and i work those but so nobody else gets to do that i don't but get is that not a self pressure you're putting on yourself no because who's it's... making you stay at your desk at five o'clock employers because they expect you to be there if you don't have a reason and i don't feel that for mental health purposes you should even have to have a reason can we just give you a couple of comments that are coming in here it's very interesting kelly on Facebook. Well, good morning, Kelly. Says, I'm a working mum. And I still do my three full night shifts, even though it's half term. Mm. Not all mums get special treatment, not where I work. Yeah. Um, Kath on Facebook says, I work full time and I have a second job and a teenage son. Now, that really is stress. <laughs> and Jackie on Facebook says, and most of these messages, I have to say, are, are in your corner. She yeah. says, I'm a working mum of two. It's all about planning. Does it, it, it does annoy me when people without children book school holidays off quite a lot, actually, but they're entitled to pick whatever time they want, as same as the working parents. Exactly. Uh, it should be first come, first served, and then that's fair to everybody, isn't yeah, it? But, but as I an think... employer, I mean, supposing you, were, you, 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 you had, say, 100 people working mm -hmm. for you, what are you going to do when someone like you rings up and says, I can't come in this morning, you're going to have to get cover for me because I've got to take my kid but to the doctor? But anybody could say that. I could say, I can't come in this morning, my nan's in hospital. But is that not a problem with your employer rather than mothers? Well, it is a problem with employers and it is definitely something that needs to be addressed in terms of flexibility for everybody and allowing people to actually leave on time and to come in on time and, and not to feel like they have to be working 24-7. But I think that is a larger systemic problem that we need to address separately. And it is, it is the case that some women, not all women, but some women with kids do act like... They do, they have I to appreciate get up that and, and, and act very entitled. And but there are other. I work, and, a full, I work a full time job. I also work evenings. I do extra work, charity work, and things. Um, and my time is very taken up. But thankfully, I'm ex army. So it, um, <laughs> I, run to, it, I run to a military <laughs> regime. And actually, when I got asked to come on this yesterday, it was quite funny because they said, Are you stressed at work? And I said, I'm sat here with no makeup on today. My hair's in a greasy bum because it was half term. <laughs> my kids wanted to lie in and I had to get them to my mum's. And it was like, Come on, it's 6.45. Let's get out the door. Who's yeah. got the kids now then? Mum, right thankfully. So thank you, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> they, those are the real heroes, the grandparents yeah. in all of this, aren't they? Definitely. definitely. Yeah. But it well, is that was funny. Just... You have to, but I've, I've 
had to book holiday clubs ready for the summer because yeah. otherwise you can't get in. Yeah, but you. then it's the same thing with pets. Like I've got 13 birds and two cats. So, it's, you mm. know, if, I, if I'm going to go on holiday, I have to find somebody That's to take. 13 birds? What yeah. sort of birds? Uh, all sorts. Parrots, lovebirds, canaries, cockatiels. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I like to rescue them. And once people find out that you're the crazy bird lady, they just sort of <laughs> throw <laughs> some birds on you. You just become the neighbor for the Well, that was an extremely civilized debate. You definitely debate. need some time off. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness, me. That was a very civilized debate. Thank you both very much indeed for coming in.